Hey, welcome back. Uh, tonight I'm going to be talking about the uh, trans people in sports, uh, women's sports. That is, um, there was this uh, post on storage, uh, excuse me, on YouTube on the Friday. It's called Sports Wars. And it's this guy, uh, Jeremy Prime, who's pitching in on the rhetoric uh, on why... Uh, it's bad for trans people to get involved with uh, women's sports. But he's doing it in a, in a very inappropriate way. Uh, he's showing a videotape of of some uh, trannies that were yelling at uh, swimmer athlete Riley Gaines. And, uh, you know, he's shouting trans life matter and all this other stuff. And you suck, bitch, and all this other crap. And, you know, they're just getting very verbal and everything. The part that was inappropriate was this guy, Jeremy Prime, making the claim that in the video, there's a man in a dress attacking her, the uh, the woman athlete. Um, now, I reviewed the, uh, the, the film, but there's no part in that video that shows Gaines getting attacked or struck or kicked or anything by anybody. Uh, let alone, much less is there anyone attacking her in a dress. There's no man or woman that's seen in the vid that's even wearing a dress, um, let alone striking Miss Gaines uh, in it. Um, so for for that, I have to speak out. I have to say shame on sports wars, you know, because it's it's one thing to voice a concern, but uh, to make false claims is just the wrong way to go you know um it's just uh wrong you can't be doing that it, you shouldn't be doing that it's just you know uncool and that makes these guys this sports wars site you know or, or at least this host a total douchebag you know he's a person of hate you know spreading all these lies and all this good stuff there's nothing in that video that showed and he showed two parts, one where uh, she was where Gaines was coming out of a room to uh, exit and had to uh, change direction because of all the hate from the transgender people. Oh, excuse me. I'm filming this late at night. I do apologize. Um, all of the uh, uh, transgender people were, you know, spewing a lot of hateful comments. Now, as far as. Verbal assault, yeah, that's what took place. But as far as a, a, a man in a dress punching a woman and a, punching this woman, it's it's just a, a downright lie, because, and he and he posted the video on his own show. You would at least think that he would actually have that uh, on footage. He would have that kind of footage, but he doesn't. It's he's he's counteracting everything that he's saying. He's proving himself to be a liar and just following some rhetoric bullcrap that you know all trans are violent whatever the hell's and that's just wrong now this is chris's comments a show of common sense on common ground so i'm gonna actually want to do that right now i'm going to talk about something that's very downright like there is a positive way to go with all of this what's happening with every event that's happened uh, that should re-rate the sports stats and regulations, particularly sports where uh, transgenders shouldn't be playing. We all saw... Excuse me, yeah. I'm so sorry. It's just that I've been I've been up all day, and it's um, it's technically Saturday now. I tried to get this done on Friday night. I wanted to do this around eight o'clock. Uh, sorry about that. You know, the uh, the regulations, like appropriations, you know, where do trans athletes go? Uh, I think wherever they fit appropriately, okay? There's nothing wrong with saying, look, this trans man can't be in an octagon with a, with a woman because he's just beating a woman. And I think that should go both ways, Um uh, even if the woman can come out a winner, you know, it's just the simple fact that there, there's, you know, there's such a biological difference. But there are sports that exist currently right now 
where both men and women, it's a mixed gender competition. So why not include the transgender uh, uh, community in these particular sports? Okay. The prime example, the number one example that I know of is horse racing. I placed bets on men. I placed bets on women no differently than I placed bets on, on male horses, female horses, whether they be mares or fillies. And, uh, and, and, um, I've, uh, whether, whether they're brown, black, white, or gray, the gray pony. Yes. Even I've betted on the gray ponies. Um, so, you know, there's both genders competing in horse racing. There's both genders competing in skateboarding competitions, surfing competitions, shooting competitions. Uh, so there's, there's, you know, why not include the transgender in those? Let's start off with something where it's not out of the ordinary, you know, um, and then transition the mixed genders to other uh, competitions like billiards. You know, uh, there's no hitting permitted. There's usually no hitting done. Uh, shoving, pushing, punching, kicking. None of that in billiards, you know. Um, also, uh, maybe some kind of... And, and forgive me for not getting this correct because I'm, I'm, I'm not really up to par on it. Obstacle course racing. Uh, there's, there's some competitions like the Spartan Race... And Tough Mudder, I think it's called. Uh, and uh, I, I honestly think that, uh, you know, because there's some of those uh, obstacle course races that occur where men and, and women uh, compete in teams to get through obstacles, you know, dude, um, let the transgender join that also, you know. Put them in, in, in where they appropriately fit. You know, it's obvious it's not going to be in an octagon. It's obvious it's not going to be on in a basketball uh, uh, game. It's a uh, basketball version, football, or even, um, you know, soccer and tennis. You know, those are sports that have been proven where men uh, dominate and all this good stuff. And women should have their own division because of it. Uh, because the best of the best of the best women uh, is, is important, you know, for morale for all of us around the world, not just here in America, but for all of us around the world, you know. And then build up new sports. Right now, they're just television shows, okay? Right now, they're just television shows where both uh, teams of men and women get together in, in, in on this uh, CBS-based television show called Tough as Nails and it's basically a bunch of building and engineering competitors that'll do stuff like uh, uh, dock work you know in, in a boating industry uh, um, uh, you know building office work you know uh, and I mean like building the building offices you know um, including concrete um, major plumbing, not the house plumbing that we're accustomed to. I'm talking like the big pipes with having to bit the, put the uh, drill bits to drill holes in in order to add connectors in order to, to uh, seal leaks out of out of uh, sewage style pipes. You know, um, a lot of stuff like that that can actually be that should be turned into a sport. It's not just a competition. Uh, right now on television, it is a competition, but it should be a sport also given the fact that some of the stuff requires engineering uh, uh, knowledge, you know, uh, the best of the best and all this good stuff in the form of a competition uh, through in, in through the, in, you know, based off of infrastructure field, the uh, industry field, you know, and before Tough as Nails, there was stuff like Junkyard Wars. And uh, Scrap Heap Challenge, which uh, was an actual competition, despite the fact that it didn't really, it wasn't really athletic. But you had to be very strong. You couldn't be just some schmuck, you know, with a with a, you know a Lego set, you know, <laughs> um, somebody that builds roller coasters with the use of a computer, you know. Over somebody that built an actual roller coaster, you know, 
uh, I can't remember that roller coaster video game, but you were making video, you were making roller coasters, and uh, when it came to certain juvenile minds, uh, you know, they were making roller coasters to watch, you know, the roller coasters crash into each other, and all this good stuff, having fun and laughing <laughs> at the, you know, at the disaster, you know. But it was a game. It was it was a build game. And all this good stuff. And I really don't see, as long as you're doing obstacle course racing, you know, where certain teams have to actually, like, build a bridge uh, in some form or another. Even if it is with just logs. But nevertheless, uh, the the simple fact that you got it like that, well, take it to the next step. Take it to Scrap Heap Challenge. Take it to Junkyard Wars, where you're making something out of junk. Where you're making a, 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 a vehicle that goes over land and in the water to cross a pond in order to get to the other side in order to continue the race, you know, or finish it, you know, or start it, you know, um, you know, take it a next step further and then include, you know, both genders. Those those competitions include both genders anyway. So why not include something like, you know, uh, transgenders, you know, uh, transition into a, build a new sport out of this where where all three uh sexes you know can actually compete you know and uh, and it wouldn't be unfair and it wouldn't be this or wouldn't be that you know because again we still have we already have we do have uh like you know competitions where they're separated and they shouldn't there really shouldn't be you know billiards is one of them uh, i think baseball should be another one um there used to be a woman's baseball. Why they only focus on softball, I'm not really sure. I think because it's, you know, it's feminine and all this other crap. But if you was to give women the chance to compete in, in baseball, you know, it's it's quite possible that they could actually do a, a pretty good job. And then you can include something like the genders. There's no hitting involved. There's no, yeah, I mean, the hitting a ball, yeah. But there's no, uh, there's no, you know, punching and kicking involved. There's no... Uh, uh, you know, shoving or, or arm wrestling or whatever, you know, stuff like that. It's just hit the ball out of the park and run around uh, all four bases and, uh, you know, let the women have their part into that and let the trans uh, uh, contenders, let the trans athletes have a shot at that. You know, it's, it's something where speed isn't exactly uh, important like on a soccer field or a football field. But it's, you know, you only have to focus on the timing with the speed of the pitcher, you know, uh, and give that a shot. Billiards, there should be no reason for a f men and female billiards. There's no certain strengths that are required. There's no certain speeds that are required, you know. Uh, there's no tactical maneuvering that's required in billiards, you know. Make them mixed genders, you know. Uh, and then include include the uh, the transgenders uh, contenders into this, you know. Same thing with uh, you know because they're already there with skateboarding and surfing and 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 shooting games, and even certain levels of archery, you know. Um, it, we should really hit it with with reason, especially now that we're finding out that it's not a good idea to put them in an octagon. Uh, with with women, you know, we're finding out it's it's not a good idea to put them in a basketball court, you know, with them. It's we're finding out it's a good idea, not a good idea to put them in a soccer field, you know. The men, even trans men, you know, are are dominant, you know. So um, there's a reason for men and women's let that be the case, you know. Javelin throws, um, I think gymnastics as well. Which is kind of strange because gymnastics, women bring a lot more medals than men do. So it's kind of, I'm kind of curious to see as to whether or not a transgender male uh, should try to compete in women's gymnastics. Um, but I'm, I'm almost positive that it's, that that's one where, you know, women just rule, you know, uh, 
but then again, that's where I thought I thought the same thing about soccer. I thought women's soccer was uh, was way better than men's soccer, you know. And I, I'll be honest, it's because I saw how women's was bringing in more trophies, global trophies, international titles, and all this good stuff than the men. And um, and it turns out, yeah, no, the the men are, came, are more dominant in in the uh, in the soccer field. Uh, it's quite possible the men are more dominant in the gymnastics field as well, uh, but I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh, ice skating is one where there's couples, you know, so why not include transgenders? Um, and it's possible, you know, if it's possible gymnastics as well, but, you know, uh, I think some gymnastics, uh, trans transgenders should be in the gymnastics to record for us to record and and re-rate the the sporting statistics and rewrite the regulations whether it's a good idea or not um whether it cheats the uh, women contenders or not um i think it's very important that we should get this out of the way seeing as how it is a very serious subject with people getting very outraged and somewhere down the line, somebody's going to get injured, hurt, if not killed. Um, people's personal opinions are being um, are being overrun by their emotions, and that's 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 a small cause for concern. Um, you know, so I say put them in, but if if it's proven that their biological bodies you know makes it an unfair advantage fine cancel that game uh of being transgender and maybe make a third category make a transgender category where it's you know transgenders only with the options of maybe a woman uh and or you know straight men uh to contend um should they want them to but you know if it turns out men are the dominant thing over transgender, well, then we have to exclude the straight men out of it and just keep it a transgender-only uh, sport. But we won't know until it, it goes into effect, you know, and we record the data and, and, and the uh, the record the actual, you know, uh, stats, statistics. Um, so that's my spiel on the situation. Um I'm sorry that the, uh, the positive way to go aspect took so darn long, uh, but it's 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 a lot more difficult to point out these things as opposed to just shaming, you know, an accusation list, which is what this uh, uh, Jeremy Prime guy is with his uh, Sports Wars channel. You know, he didn't show a single punch in those videos that he threw up there. He didn't show a single kick. He didn't show a single anything. And then to top it all off, he said there was a guy in a dress. There was nobody in a dress. Not even a woman. Not even the women were in dresses on that video. You know, so shame on him. Shame on that site if they're all together in on this. Uh, shame on them for their false accusations. It's one thing to voice your concern. But to go out with these false claims? No, that's just wrong. So... That's my spiel. Um, Y'all take care. Y'all take it easy. It's the weekend. So uh, y'all take care and have fun and stay safe out there. It's an Easter weekend. Um, and I understand not many of you are Christian or or whatever. But we, you all know that there's a commercialized version of this. Including Easter eggs, chocolate bunnies, and all this good stuff. Confetti eggs. Um, you know, you can have your fun as well. Don't give in to hate and, uh, you know, just enjoy the celebration. Okay. It's, it's, it's a nice holiday. Uh, and it's one where we're all taking good care of each other. And, uh, that's what I want you all to do as well. Take care of each other. Okay. Stay safe. This is Chris with Chris's comments signing out.